Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this Gemma 360 Back to Basics session. My name is Nihal Samra. I'm the General Counsel and Legal Director here at Kaizen Synergy, and I'd like to welcome you all to today's session. Today's session is going to focus directly on the notice board and how you can actually use this to actually send out a notice, an email, um, to other colleagues and what it's actually used for. So you can see I've got a number of tests notices on here as well too. Um, we're going to post one up. So let's have a look. If we were a um, had a new policy document and I wanted to make sure that staff actually read this, how do I actually go about this? Well, how I can do it is simply go to the notice board and I'll make this screen slightly bigger for us to see it at this stage. Here we are here. I'll make this slightly bigger, go back again. And you'll see that at the top of the screen, there's a post a new notice button. So quite simply, I can click on that because that's exactly what I want to do. I want to post a new notice. I'll make this slightly smaller. Here we go. And I'm going to select the person that I want to send this to. Now, if I wanted to send this to everyone, I can then select, you can see I've got a number of teams here. I can select the all staff team and that will actually send it out to everyone that's listed above here. If I wanted to send it out to the board of management, for example, then I would only send select that particular one here, or you might call it um, committee of management or the like. So in this case, what I am just simply going to do is I am going to send this one because we want to directly to ourselves. So I'm going to pick Fred out here and I'm going to send it directly to Fred. So um, I'm now just going to select, uh, here we are, Fred. Here we are here. Now, what I do want to do is put in the message of what this is about. So I'm going to say new policy. Here it is here. So I'm going to type out the new policy. What I'm also going to now do is type out a message. Now, this is a message to tell people, well, what do, what do I want them to actually do? And I'm going to say, um, here is the new privacy policy. Please read and click on the confirm read button. Okay. Now, so I've got my message here and I've got it set. What I do want to do now is to link the policy that I'm going to have. Now I can do this in a couple of ways. One is I can link it to a just a document that I might have sitting on my computer. So I'm simply going to pick on choose file and I'm going to select from here a policy document that I want to have. So let me have a look. I'm just going to bring something up here and we're going to select a template policy. Let me just bring this up to see what we've got um, and see if I've got a policy document on my computer that we can use. And I'm going to click on search. Here it is. And I'm simply going to select from my list here. Here it is here. And I'm going to double click on this. Okay. So you can see now that I've got, and I've just picked up a COVID uh, template policy. Here it is here. And I can post this message. Now, Simply, I click on post, and what that does is post the message to the notice board, um, and it says notice has been posted, UP, and I don't have anything else to post, so I'm going to simply click on close. Now, what this does is returns me back to the screen, and I can now see on here that I have, and I've just because I posted it to myself, this is what it looks like. I've got the new policy and we've got the document here. It also means that an email has now also been sent out. So if I wanted to, I'll be asked to read this, bring this up. Here it is here. I've got the policy document. I can click on the view document. And what it'll actually do when I click on this is open up the policy that I've just uh, clicked on and it'll open it up into a reader for me. And here it is here. And I can read this, have a look at it. If I wanted to print it out, I can simply click on this link here 
and it'll actually bring up the print screen. Here it is. And I can simply print it out and you can see in the top right hand corner, I've got the print button. Now, once I've read that, what I do, what I'm asked to do is actually confirm that I've read it. And once I click on confirm, you'll then see that it's automatically read it at this date and at this time. What it will also do is this. Once I've read the policy, you'll see now it's actually disappeared off the screen and I've only got my test policy. So only the, only the notices that I haven't read will actually appear under my notice board. Now, one of the questions that people then ask us is, well, where did the, where did the notice go? If I wanted to have a look at this, how can I look at this again? Well, I can simply click on the notice register button and what this will bring up is all the, poly, all the, it's like my red box and I can see all my path notices and everybody has access to that. It's based on their permission level as well. Now, one of the other questions that I've just been asked in the chat group is what if I want to post a policy um, or post a notice, sorry, if I wanted to post a notice, but I didn't want it to go out today. I wanted it to go out um, in, let's say, uh, uh, next week. Well, quite simply, you'll see that I've got the option at the start here to actually select when I wanted the policy to be posted onto the notice board. So let's say I was going away next week. I could actually say, look, I want everyone to read this next week. I'm going to select the 5th of the 9th, and I want them to read it actually by the end of the week. So I'm going to give them a week to actually do it. And I can do that by simply selecting the 9th. And you can see today is the 29th and I want it done by this date here. I can then go through exactly the same thing I did before. I can select, let's say, all staff team. I can post the message, and that way I can post the notice. But the difference here is that it won't appear until the post date date as well. And that'll allow you to post a message in advance um, and ensure that people have got it when you need to as well. And again, emails will go out on that date of when it needs to be done. So that's the overview of the notice board. I'm more than happy to stay online and answer any questions that you might have. If you are watching this recording after today's live session and have any questions on the notice board, then by all means, please reach out to us on 1300 360 360 or email us at support at gemba360.com.